Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. You'll be pleased to know that these cows are safely behind this fence. In this vlog, we are going to be wild camping, but first of all, um, we are going to have a bit of a jubilee look around a local village. Now, Sheila is gonna be wild camping with me. It's just a one-nighter. We're gonna get some nice food and we're gonna do a bit of cooking. So uh, you've got that to look forward to. But right now, I am just gonna suss out where we are going to actually camp. So uh, it's not the actual uh, day of the wild camp. It's just a, a day when I'm going to uh, take a walk along here and suss out where we are going to camp. So tomorrow when we do the wild camp, uh, that'll be after we've had a little mill around, a little mooch around the village and soaked up some of the, the uh, celebrations for the Jubilee. But I'm not wanting to hike too far out of the village, so I don't want to go too far up here. And I'm happy with the water that we've got, a uh, supply of water there, so... Hmm. It's going to be somewhere around here. I'm just going to look a little bit further on. <laughs> My legs are weak. I've just climbed straight up, straight up that uh, valley. It looks like a little valley, but it's very steep. I climbed straight up there because down there, it looks inviting next to the water, but there's nowhere really to pitch. So I'm glad that I've actually uh, taken the time to come out and search today. I haven't found anywhere yet, but I will. Uh, yeah, I've had to lose the jacket, of course. I'm straight after work here, just sussing this out for tomorrow. Uh, so I'm still looking forward to it, but I must find a good spot to pitch. Okay, I think I found somewhere and that's it there. Look how flat it is there. Now, just let me show you, there's a bridge up there. You see that little bridge? You see it just up there? I'm going to stand on that bridge and uh, point down to uh, the uh, the place where we're going to pitch so you can see it from above so just sort of uh, memorize that we'll be looking down this way to uh, where the pitch is i'm going to look for a second one just over this way a little bit more just in case on the night this one's not suitable but it, it seems okay it's nice and flat i've just uh, sort of walked around and trodden a lot of it down but we've got uh, the sound of the water um, we've got even maybe a place maybe a place for a little paddle which is just um, in there, which will be lovely. So if the weather's good, this is looking good. There's that bridge up there, a little bit of a closer look at it. So here I am stood on the bridge. There's the water down there. And you can see that flat patch. Let me just see if I can uh, point it out. Just, yeah, just round about there, that flat patch over there. That's where the pitch is, pitch number one. That's where I'm hoping to camp. Now, I just want to look over here and see if there's another one, just in case I need a plan B. Okay, did I find another pitch? No, I didn't. So there is no plan B. This one is going to have to work. And I'm quite happy with it. I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine. So we're back at this little bridge. I just went on back there just to search for somewhere, but it didn't work out. So I'll be down there. So in a moment, it will be tomorrow and I will be with Sheila. We'll have a little look around the, uh, the village, see what's going on and get some food together. And we will be camping down there on that flat path uh, into the evening and through the night. I'm really looking forward to it. I will see you there. And we're back. It is tomorrow today, if you know what I mean. And Sheila is with me. She is, uh, well, she is with me. You'll be seeing her later. She's over there. You might be able to see just through them trees. <laughs> she is here. So uh, we are going to head on up now. I did promise you a little bit of a look around uh, the village, the village of Marsden. This is uh, Close Gate Bridge at Marsden and we're going to head up onto the moor. Now, in the village, there wasn't a right lot happening. There was some little bits and bats for the Jubilee, but not a right lot. So me and Sheila went for a little drink at one of the pubs and just relaxed. And uh, we are now looking forward to hiking up 
to the campsite. You know where we are going to be camping out tonight. Sheila doesn't. Uh, we're going to get to there and enjoy cooking some food. So I hope you're going to join us with that. So it's just great to be out. We're now away from the village. Uh, me and Sheila's had a bit of a mingle with the locals and uh, a couple of drinks. We've really enjoyed it. But now we're getting out into the into the moors, into Marsden Moor. And I'm really glad to be out here. So we will be cooking tonight. It's the first time I've been out with Sheila since the West Highland Way, really. It's the first time we've been out walking. Oh, it's a bit rocky, yeah, nearly fell then. So how are you feeling, Sheila? Yeah, good. good. Even, even after your, your glass of wine? I thought it might slow me down, but I'm on a roll now. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Sheila, are they? Please tell me they're not cow hoofs. Are they hoof prints? Are they cows? No. Better not be. <laughs> so we have reached camp. Sheila is sat up there, lovely. And we are still nice and warm after our hike. Look at the waterfall we've got and it continues on. I might give you a look at that uh, waterfall in the morning. It's quite spectacular. So we'll have the sound of the water all night. It'll be a bit like white noise. I promise you, Sheila, it'll be like white noise. <laughs> You'll be straight off to sleep. And do you know what? Because I've got Sheila with me, we have got a little bit of wine. Now I'm not a big drinker, but I'm gonna have a couple of glasses tonight. So that'll be lovely. So I will be setting the tent up right there. I've got the ground sheet down right now, the magic carpet, the DD magic carpet. So that's there, ready for me to plonk the tent on. And I'm, uh, you might be able to see just over Sheila's head, you might be able to see the farmhouse in the distance. And uh, we've got to keep our heads down because we don't want the, uh, the farmer to see us. Now it's a shame it's not a blazing hot day or we would have a dip in there. We're cooking, we've got cooking. Well, of course we've got cooking because we've got Sheila here with me. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got, the, we've got the tent set up over there and we are having to be really stealthy because I'm concerned about that farmhouse over there. It's gorgeous with the water running and uh, we've got some uh, lovely burgers there and uh, some tomatoes, onion and I think some mushroom as well. And we've got a couple of glasses of wine each as well. So we are going to enjoy this. I'll get back to you when we've cooked it. Uh, because it's, uh, it's all balancing on the edge of this uh, little rock here, but it's got a nice little spot to cook. You can see it's getting dark now. There's some buzzards hanging about uh, hunting. It's nice to see them. We might spot some deer up on the ridge. I do know that they uh, come up later on. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting into the tent and uh, another wild camp under our belt. So good to have Sheila with me. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Absolutely delicious. We've got, we've got some potatoes. A little bit of potato there. <laughs> Plenty more wine. <laughs> so, I'm gonna really enjoy this. I'm sure you don't wanna see me slabbering over it. <laughs> we have enjoyed our wine and food. Absolutely delicious. It's been a while since I spoke to you. As you can see, it's getting darker. Bit of a dramatic sky. I've just checked the uh, weather forecast and uh, for Yorkshire and Humber, it is giving a storm and thunder warning. I don't know why I'm smiling, <laughs> but uh, that is the warning for, for tonight. So fingers crossed we'll be okay. Of course we can take the rain, but uh, I don't fancy uh, thunder and lightning. But look at that, absolutely gorgeous evening. The sun is coming down and uh, hopefully I will see you in the morning unless we are disturbed by thunder during the night. So uh, I'll see you in the morning, fingers crossed. Good morning, not a bad night, no thunderstorms, really peaceful and really nice to be by the water. Let me just tell you, before I pack the tent away, leaving no trace, of course, the tent that, uh, that we used, and uh, I've used it for a uh, solo as well, is the Van Gogh Tempest Pro 300. That's the tent, excellent tent very similar to the Banshee, only you only get in the front here and it's got a, a really large uh, like porch at the front which is great for uh, stashing all your gear and I mean all of it, you can put all of it 
and uh, the uh, the sleeping area is uh, is absolutely clear and uh, nice and tidy so that was great Sheila's just having a wash over there okay so me and Sheila are just about ready to set off leaving no trace but just this flat patch here and uh, I'm just going to go down here and just show you this uh, waterfall one last time great place to camp I'm really glad that I found it let me just jump down here it's a bit early for jumping down um, oh, oh. so lovely waterfall with a little bridge at the top there and uh, on a baking hot day you could actually go for a little plunge in there there's a waterfall further down like I say so uh, I will camp here again I'm going to end this vlog here and I really hope you've enjoyed it I've really enjoyed this one nighter with Sheila and just being careful not to fall <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed it too if you have give me a like consider subscribing I upload vlogs at least once a month so until the next one bye